Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. It's that time again. I know, I know, I know. I'm like a day late, two days late. A day late? I forgot it was coming out. I usually get a notification. I didn't get a notification. And we've been super busy with this YouTube schedule. If you haven't seen the YouTube schedule, please go to the community tab because I know a lot of you have not seen it. Go to the community tab and you'll see what the schedule is. I get a lot of people come Friday and Saturday asking where's the Dragon Ball videos at. If you look at the schedule, you know when they're coming. Anyway, it's time. It's time. We must have a discussion. So, without further ado, YouTube Matazedana. That's right. Welcome back to Dragon Ball Super Manga. This show, we talk about Dragon Ball Super. We kind of skim through the chapter because we're not trying to get clapped. We skim through it and we review it for the people at home. This one, hopefully, is going to be a doozy. So, let's get into it. So, it starts out with, uh, you know, destruction. <laughs> My favorite. <laughs> destruction <laughs> can we talk about this art for a second can we talk about this can i just say this is drawn fabulously this is drawn fantastically superbly sexually i just think it's been drawn very well like i can see i don't want to say that you can never see emotions on people's faces but you can really see the emotion and like the battle and like i can imagine it's like i'm reading it and i'm like ah I can see how this would look animated, which hopefully they animate this and hopefully they animate it well. Can we just hire like, I'm about to go on a tangent. Can we just hire a better animation studio than Super? Can we, can we go back to Z? Can we do that? Can we go back to Z's art style? I know there's a bunch of people going right in the comment section. Anyway, Vegeta's still getting smoked by Granola, right? My attacks are aren't invigorating you anymore curse you daddy oh man this dude has finger guns he takes finger guns to a whole new level bro like look at how he's just throwing vegeta around and why they always got to do this to my mans bro they always got to do this to my mans why he got to put his his foot on his head you got beerus putting the foot on the face him putting the foot on the head you got other people putting the foot on the chest like why people got to put their foot on on vegeta bro nobody puts their foot on goku that i remember i'm sure somebody did actually frieza did he shot him in the chest and then stomped on him i gotta i gotta correct myself in these videos because y'all be going ape shit <laughs> in the comments bro no more super ego or whatever it's called so vegeta powers down because you know we knew we knew that was gonna happen. And, uh, you know, Vegeta with the whole, I'm the master of my own fate situation, you know, gets beat up. I own my own destiny, blah, 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 blah. About to take the finishing blow, right? He's about to just take it. Look at him just taking it. I'm the master of my own destiny, but I'm gonna take your final blow. Pause. And then here comes Super Goku. So I like this panel right here, right? This panel right here, I like it a lot. The reason why I like it is because he punched the shit out of Granola. He, look at Granola's face. He punched blood out that man's mouth. <laughs> this dude, Granola, thought he was hot shit. To Goku hit him with the... <laughs> the fucking Buster Wolf. <laughs> Are, Are you, you okay? okay? <laughs> <laughs> Granola got fucking snuffed, bro. Oh, man. It reminds me of that meme that... Ah! <laughs> oh, man. So... You know, naturally, he's surprised that Goku's back because Goku's been healing himself in a corner somewhere, right? But the surprising thing is Vegeta kicking Goku with the Android 18, slamming him into some... I don't know where this... this That scene reminds me of, like, Rival Schools. If you ever played Rival Schools or Project Justice, you would be able to do, like, a smashing attack in the air or something like that, and it'd be a random, like, chair or desk. It'd be something random. There's nothing around you for miles, but then it'd be, like, a random dumpster or some shit. That's what this reminds me of. He kicked him, and it was a random, like water holder whatever you call that thing i forget what it's called it's just random and it just just why is it there ain't no i'll take over from here nah son i'm vegeta you don't take over nothing bro this is super vegeta this isn't z vegeta z vegeta would have been like smoked somewhere and knocked out and then he get up when the battle's over nah get off me it's still my turn this guy's like oh i don't want you to die goku right please don't die i don't want you dead i'm gonna get killed he's like nah i'd rather get killed and to team up with you. Can we get a zoom in? I don't want to team up with you, Goku. 
Oh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I don't want to team up with you, Kakarot. I'm the master of my own fate. Face ass. Oh, I need to shave. God. So he spits, right? <laughs> I ain't no bitch. <laughs> but as he's doing this, typical Vegeta, as he's doing this, He's about to get rushed by Granola. Granola is about to impale the shit out of this guy. And what does Goku do? Vegeta. Saves our man. Because he could have been super dead right here. Look look at the murderous intent. The Shungokusatsu. The raging demon on, on Granola. You see him? My man's was die 1000 death face ass. He gets grazed. Vegeta is super battle worn, by the way, so I'm okay with him taking this little nap because he's super battle worn. Goku's like, yo, I learned your shit, bro. You're not gonna fucking, you're not doing this to me no more. I learned. So then Granola does his typical shit, rush at you and then behind you and then chop your ass. So he goes back to base, but oh, wait, I was bluffing. I feel like there's a better way to show somebody you was bluffing or that you actually learned instead of like, taking the hit and pretending to be down you can like you know grab him or you know mush him or something like that so apparently goku has like uh he can move his insides he's like a like a like majin buu and shit he can like manipulate the insides of his body like this this guy has fucking everything bro oh you're gonna shoot me in the heart i'm gonna just move it to this side <laughs> like <laughs> when when i think i figured you out i don't think i've learned the ability to move my vital points i can't do that shit bro like goku is a totally different beast bro like whenever whenever goku needs to win or like power up they give him whatever the fuck they want to give him bro like this shit is actually insane shifting your vitals out of harm's way Yep, there's the smallest pause between you locking onto your, our vitals and the attack that follows. This guy, Goku, bro, he's fucking broke. Like, if you just want an OD character, Goku's your man. He is your man, bro. I don't know when he learned that. He Did he just learn that? I saw that there's a pause. You lock on and then you pause and then you attack. Like, how fast is that? Is that like a blink of an eye? Anyway, Vegeta's back up. That's always great. I need him back up because it's my man's, right? Even though this is the Goku show, <coughs> he's still our man. If he can't do it, Goku can. So, <laughs> Goku says my body won't last much longer because, you know, they're going toe to toe. So then Vegeta comes back. I'm tagging in. My question is, right, where the fuck is the Sensu Bean? Can we zoom in? Where is the Sensu Bean at? Wasn't there two Sensu Beans? Where is the other Sensu Bean? Like, can I have that? Like, can we can we talk about this? Like, give me my sensu bean so that I can, you know, be back to 100% and destroy this guy. Where, uh, where's the sensu bean at? He wants to do this by himself. And Goku's like, can you really beat him? I can't even beat him. Can you? I'm Goku. This is my show. Um, So Vegeta's giving up the secrets. He only just learned to unleash this side of his power. So he won't last long either. So I just have to last longer than him, essentially. And Goku hits him with the try not to die. But I'm going to hold this Sensu Bean. I'm going to keep this in my pocket because you clearly don't need this, right? The biggest part about this, 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 this panel right here, this right side panel, this page. Vegeta said, please allow me to do this alone. I can see the conviction in his face. Like when they zoom in, I can see the conviction in Vegeta's face. Like I, I want him to do this alone. I want him to win. I want him to beat this guy alone. Pause. He starts hitting him with the lectures and stuff like that, right? And then he boosts right back into Ultra Ego. Now, Ultra Ego, to me, is a fire form with a shit name. Because he looks... I can't wait to see this shit animated. Hopefully, we get a new animation studio that makes it look fire, bro. This shit needs to look ridiculous. This shit needs to break the internet like how Ultra Instinct did when it first happened. Thanks for following, Tyler. This shit needs to break the internet. If it doesn't break the internet, I'm going to be kind of tight. I'm not going to lie to you. 
Because this shit needs to be fire. As I explained, this power is unbounded. It has no limits, right? So this dude tried to hit him with the Hakai. Vegeta's not fucking around, bro. This form is too good. It's too good. I need it to be like, give me the next form of it already so that he could be OP for a little bit. Because right now, he's not OP. They crash into the city. The city looks like it has some some significance to uh granola's life because he's like not here like we're not gonna fight right here the crazy thing is is that vegeta bites granola i'll put it to you like this i like it the reason why i like him biting granola is because like the saiyans are like a warrior race they're savages you know what i'm saying i this looks to me like somebody who wants to win so because if i gotta if i want to win i'm gonna bite your ass too this part right here kind of worries me he steps on both his arms and then point blank shoots Vegeta in the chest over and 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 over, like unloading into Vegeta's chest, right? I'm surprised that shit didn't kill him. That shit kind of worried me, bro. I'm surprised it didn't kill him. Damn. Fucking Vegeta, bro. So apparently there's people still living in this area. Um, which is crazy because I didn't realize that they were in a dome. Like, I didn't realize that he knocked them into a dome. Like, the city was in a dome, which is fucking insane. I feel like I should have noticed this, but I clearly missed it that it was in a dome. And we get a flashback of Granola going back to his mom after, you know, the Saiyans was taking over the planet or rummaging through the planet, destroying it. Can we just talk about Granola's mom and how hot she is? Granola's mom? Mm. It's a nice bowl of cereal. Vegeta's back up. And the thing about Vegeta, you know, trying to tell him about the Saiyans is his willingness to die. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't like this in particular. Like, I don't feel like he needs to be like, oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm ready to die. Like, mm, you know, because how many times are we going to have this happen in, in, in Super where he's like, I'll, I'll take this death. Like he did it with Beerus. You know what I'm saying? Like, wow, how many times are we gonna have this happen? Like, I don't need you to be ready for death. I want you to wanna beat him. Now, it's noble, because he's doing it for his race. And if anybody's gonna do it, it's gonna be Vegeta. You know, because, you know, Planet Vegeta and Saiyans, the Prince of All Saiyans, like, I respect it, but I don't like it. Doesn't mean I need to like it. I don't think he needs to be sacrificing himself, because you still have a family at home. Like, fuck the Saiyan race, like, it's over. Y'all, you're not wishing them back. They're not coming back. Right, so why do you care so much about your saying race? You know what I'm saying? If y'all not coming back, it's you and Goku and Broly are the last full blooded Saiyans. Like, that's it. There's no need to die for that. Unless you're gonna wish back all the Saiyans, like, you don't need to sacrifice yourself, in my opinion. Right? And Granola's a fucking idiot. How many times do we need to say that we have no idea where Frieza is and why we you think we have any correlation to him? I get it. Back in the day, they worked for him, but this is. How many years later and we're still talking about, oh, you fucking Saiyans and Frieza and bleh. We have no idea. They wouldn't be fighting this hard to protect Frieza. Like, it's... When have you known Frieza to have anybody as strong as these two? Like, they, it does not happen. The Frieza Force is weak. You know what I'm saying? The Frieza Force... Anybody of any sort of power can beat the Frieza Force. Even, like, Krillin can destroy the Frieza Force. Did y'all see Resurrection F? Fukatsu no F? The Frieza Force? Weak. So I don't know what this guy is thinking that people of this caliber, you're supposed to be the strongest warrior in the universe. And there's people of this character, ca uh, blah, 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 of this measure, like f protecting Frieza, like fuck out of here, bro. Like what, what, what planet are you on? You, oh, I guess planet Sorel, planet Sorel. Anyway, Goku's like, yo, fuck this. He's about to kill my man. I'm about to go find him. And then we get the Namekian. That man, it can't be right. Like when I, when I see this, I immediately go. <laughs> right i make a face uh and the reason why so man jumps down as he's about to destroy vegeta vegeta was about to get blasted bro like blasted if you'd have gave him a sensu bean it wouldn't have been this it would not have been this but so monato shows up <laughs> goku still takes the cheap the cheap shot right <laughs> don't be stupid vegeta what are you thinking facts what are you thinking bro even though he's cool as shit look how buff my man's vegeta is bro that man is buff fuck that man is buff <laughs> oatmeal i should have known meddling in my business like yo relax fam like 
What a fucking idiot. <laughs> I just want it to end. I need this to be over. There was one saying who didn't earn your vengeance. 40 years back, the one who actually saved us. Burdock. Oh shit, actually. Bardock. Did I hear that right? A Saiyan was our savior? I'm gonna... So the reason why I say I make that face is because, well, that man, it can't be, right? He looks like Bardock. They need to bring my mans back already. Can we bring back Bardock? Let's bring him back. Let's bring back the Saiyans. I think we should. I think we should bring back the Saiyans. Um, the crazy thing about it, right? Like, a lot of people say that the 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 route that they're going is that Goku's gonna be an angel and Vegeta's gonna be the god be a god of destruction. That's fine, right? But what if they just flipped it on its head and was like, we're just gonna bring back Bardock, and then Bardock goes on his own and brings back his team or whatever the fuck, right? Well, I guess that Bardock's not canon, so I guess he'd bring back his wife, Gine, or Raditz, right? Or are we just done with the Saiyans? The thing is, too, is like, since these are the last three full-blooded Saiyans, like, when they die, that's it. Your race is finished. You know? Like, sure, you have Gohan, and you have Goten, and Pan, and Buddha, and Trunks, and but they're not, like, full-blooded full -blooded Saiyans. Eventually, the bloodline will die out in, like, how many more generations? Three? Three more generations? Two more generations? You know what I'm saying? They're done. So, in my opinion, I think you should bring back the Saiyans. And the reason why I think you should bring back the Saiyans is because I feel like it'll it could be like a whole new like villain arc where like the Saiyans are going fucking ape shit. You know what I'm saying? And they they don't necessarily learn how to become gods and stuff like that, but they get strong enough where it's like, you know, or like Vegeta could you know what happened to Kaba? We just like that whole situation is just done. No Kaba. He didn't even go to Planet Salad. I don't know. That whole shit just should have been more fleshed out. Because I was really interested when it when it was happening. Uh, but I guess we're never going to see that again. Um, but yeah, man. Like, bring back the Saiyans. And then build an arc around that shit. You know? They just get stupid strong. And Goku and Vegeta got to like shut shit down and broly is like oh but those are my people or whatever the fuck something cool but i i guess not i guess we're just gonna get a permadeath frieza which is trash in my opinion because i really like frieza but good in the sense of like my thing is with, with with super he's always like looming in the background like you don't know what frieza's doing back there you know what i'm saying like who knows what's happening with frieza in the background you know because now they're probably gonna go like after a long this is the story history lesson, right? Which sucks. We have to wait a month, but this is the whole story. And then, you know, we might go see Frieza. What if Frieza was like training? Remember, it's, it only took him four months to get on the level of, uh, you know, Super Saiyan Blue. You know what I'm saying? So imagine if he's just like in the background training instead of like trying to fuck with Broly, you know, I don't know. Just Frieza being in the background, to me, I like it. Because it's like, there's this, like, this presence. Like, oh, shit. At any moment, Frieza can come back and fuck some shit up. The thing is, is they don't make Frieza, like, how he was in Z. Frieza was OD in Z. Like, it just was, like, how many episodes of him just being on a terror? You know what I'm saying? I want that. Not what we got in Super, where it was like, oh, he came back for a day and we beat him. Nah, like, I want it to be like, yo, this dude's a tyrant again. If you're going to permadeath Frieza, I want it to be like, yo, he's a fucking, he's causing havoc all over the planet. That's what I want. But we're probably not going to get that, are we? We're not. But anyway, let me know what you guys thought about this chapter.
Yeah. I'm excited for the history lesson. I love backstory. Give me more backstory. Bring him back to life. Or, I mean... Yeah, bring him back to life. Yeah, please do that. Anyway, if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the house bell so you don't miss out on any of our videos, and check out our Patreon. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Or next month. Ha, 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 ha.